walk around and look at the nice room that we got. It's a bed and breakfast. And this is the sitting room. Uh, we didn't really use this room uh, while we were here. But still, it's really nice that this was available. Basically like a nice little sitting room. There's even a little DVD player in there if you want to watch some movies. A big walk-in closet in case you needed that, which we did not need that either. So this is pretty nice. Nice little extra touches. There in the bathroom. Nice bathroom. I like the flooring in this place. Nice flooring. King size bed. Now it is memory foam. We don't particularly uh, care for memory foam that well, but it is a good size bed. There's a table here. I mean, it's like a little apartment. And it doesn't have an actual kitchen. Microwave oven. There's a nice little tea maker if you want to get hot boiling, you know, boiling hot water really quick. Electric it's, kettle. Yeah, it's an electric kettle. You plug that in. And there's also a side-by-side uh, -side refrigerator. The ice maker doesn't work because there isn't a water hose connected in the back, so that's why that doesn't work. Uh, but it does have a good freezer that works. Uh, we went and got some, you know, stuff at the grocery store and kept that in there, and it saved a lot of money instead of having to. Uh, spend money at the restaurants. So nice little touches in here. The one thing I want to really just kind of look at is some of these touches are really interesting. Like this right here. This it has all these different birds of the region around yep. here. And it gives you like a little description about the bird, their habitat. Their uh, voice, their description on each one of these birds, and you can actually read on these things and learn something. Uh, you know, that way you can learn how to spot these birds when you see them in the wild. So that is a really nice touch, especially you know, for homesteaders, uh, and you, you, you have an interest in nature. Uh, this is something that's really good about this place particularly. And if you want to even get really crazy with it. Uh, there are these really nice uh, books, uh, Audubon Society Field Guide to North American Birds. Uh, there's also a guide to North American Mushrooms, and there's also a guide to North American Fossils. So really, uh, if you have children, uh, this would have been a great little resource uh, to just learn some things. There's some pamphlets of some of the attractions in the area. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, so that way you can kind of, if you're going to do some uh, sightseeing hiking. and hiking and things, it gives you an idea of the what's caves. available. Yeah, the caves and uh, different tours that you might want to go on. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice. Here's some more guides down here, uh, one for wildflowers and one for mammals. So I, mean, I really like this place, you know, for what we paid for it, uh, you know, you would never get this in a hotel room. A lot of room. Never get this in a hotel room. This might be the place for us to stay. We had a really good time at the conference. 
everything went well. Uh, got to get some really uh, nice, quick interviews. With a lot of good YouTube channels. Uh, and also, there's other YouTube channels that, you know, uh, people we talk with and, uh, you know, uh, just kind of share different things with. And it's just really good when you can go to a conference like this. And, uh, you know, we're not going to, you know, I've said this before, we're not going to all agree on everything. Uh, obviously, we're going to disagree on some things, you know, uh, but we're also going to have a lot in common as far as the homesteading goes. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, homesteading is on the rise, which is a good thing. It should be, uh, you know, because uh, with homesteading, you know, you, uh, you have a lot more freedom. Uh, to, to do certain things and you know I like to be out in the country I grew up in the country I spent my childhood living on a small farm uh, you know I would go exploring through the creeks and uh, finding lizards and snakes and all these different things as a little boy uh, you know and I worked on farms and stuff as I was I was growing up and then in my adult life I spent all of my adult life in the city you know until recently <sighs> So, whenever I, I contrast the, the difference, I personally prefer living in the country. That's what I prefer. So, everybody's got their own preferences, and that's okay. That's okay. So, I just really appreciate uh, things like this, and uh, it's just really nice, and it's a blessing to me and my wife uh, to be able to, to come to these uh, types of conferences, and hopefully we can continue to do that in the future. And all in all, I'm just glad we came. You know, it's, it's not about... Uh, dollars and cents all the time. It's not always about money, although it does it does help if that makes sense. But uh, you know, it's not all about that. It's uh, you know, we enjoy uh, this way of life of uh, you know living out in the country, uh, growing food, uh, learning from other people who are growing food, and doing things like that. And uh, you know, like I keep saying, it's about edifying. You know, you build up the house, uh, build up physical. Uh, which is, you know, the, the homesteading and, and health and, and all that stuff. So you, there's the physical edifying and there's also edifying in knowledge. And there's a lot of interesting things you can learn from other homesteaders that really build you up in knowledge. And also there's a building built up spiritually. And we did uh, talk with some homesteaders that, uh, are, you know, uh, are spiritual and uh, uh, Christian and that we would agree with on a lot of things. And that was edifying to us as well. Uh, so you know, that just really sums up what we are about, and we really, we really enjoy it. Do you see that? It's got standing water, and it's raining. Howdy, homesteaders! Today, we have a lot of rain. Yeah, I was out here uh, unpacking uh, from our trip to the uh, Homesteaders of America conference. And it has been just nonstop drizzle with rain. And it's, I don't know, it's getting almost like, uh, almost like flooding conditions. I've got standing water on my property. I got standing water in the front yard. I got this whole side yard, uh, standing water. Uh, it's just, it's just kind of crazy. I don't think I've seen this rain here in Kentucky since I've been here. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. See all that rain? It makes feeding the rabbits a little bit tough. But we got that little concrete pad right there. So I'm just gonna go out through this side door. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get a whole lot of footage of all this because uh, I'm just using my cell phone and uh, Cell phones, they don't like water too well.
So I guess the rain kind of slowed down. So I was able to film a lot more than I thought I was going to. This is all I have for today. I'm just going to uh, finish doing some of my chores out here in the rain. And uh, we'll see you next time.